In our previous episodes, we have uncovered some of the most interesting stories behind the wind power industry. Now it's time to head into the world of solar power. Alternative Energy Services out of Orlando, Florida, a complete turnkey alternative energy provider for residential, commercial, and industrial applications, gives us a complete walkthrough of a groundbreaking solar project. Alternative Energy Services is a company that's striving to make a difference in our environment creating renewable resources such as solar power, wind power, and backup generators, and, and many more lighting systems that are for off-grid systems. Alternative Energy Services has been contracted to construct one of the most innovative and compelling solar projects in the country, creating a fully sustainable island. Located in sunny Florida, and Clote Key Island is a state park, which after today, will rely solely on the sun for energy and the ocean for usable water. With the addition of solar out here, one, uh, our reliance on diesel fuel. Uh, we spend close to fifteen to eighteen thousand dollars a year on diesel fuel just to supply the power for one range of residents and to keep the lighthouse lit. The other benefit that we have is that we're no longer putting exhaust emissions up into the air. That, that diesel generator pumped out a lot of exhaust emissions by having the desalinization plant and being able to pump the salt water up here and turn it into fresh water. It's provided the water that we needed to house a staff member out here on the island. And just like any renewable energy development, there is an assessment process involved to determine whether the site is a suitable environment capable of harnessing enough energy to create electricity and become a viable investment. We have to look at the areas in which the sunlight is most effective to the area. We have to look at shadowing what, what can potentially block the solar system to get the maximum and make it 100% efficient. Florida is, is a good place for solar due to the fact that the amount of sunlight that Florida receives on a daily basis. Once approved for installation and development, Alternative Energy Services preps the site and begins installation. Thanks to the assistance of Matern Professional Engineering for the electrical design, Southern Manufacturing for the enclosures, and Midwest Helicopters for the safe and precise lifts, this project has seamlessly come together. We figure out what size system we're going to use and we had a certain load calculation that we had to meet to supply energy to the lighthouse, to the residents, and the boat dock. Uh, once we figured that out, then we, we started figuring out the, the racking system and the structural. Then from there, we started doing the surveying. And after surveying, we dig our footers. From the footers, we go and we lay the pipes down that hold up the vertical pipes for the solar array. Then from there, we do run all our conduit go ahead and mount, we mounted the uh, inverters, got those in place, then from there we start mounting modules. We wire them into the inverters and after that we make all our connections, tighten up all the nuts and bolts and we're supplying power. With an inexhaustible supply of energy, solar is an affordable option that must be considered for the longevity of our planet, not to mention the stability of our economy. The growth in Florida has come from the ability to use solar and a more cost effective than using, say, your standard power to your house through the power company. I give it five to ten years and the technology will be amazing. You'll be able to probably get 500 watts out of the same size module where we're getting 175 watts. In effect, Anclote Key Island is a microcosm of what a sustainable world could be. It may be a small step in renewable energy, but has huge implications on the future of our country and our planet.